Hello, I'm teacher Karina and I'm here to talk to you about the news for the second semester. At the end of the first term, I carried out some research into the results of the experiments on Mobile Virtual. Here are some of my findings based on your own feedback. And now I'm quoting you. I also miss speaking activities. It would be interesting to have more discussions. I feel like everyone's speaking ability would increase if we could have more group exercises related to speaking itself, just as our writing skills improved due to all the paragraphs we have been doing. I feel like discussing more about the literary content and explore it more deeply. This would make us learn better and enjoy it better, and we would also be improving our language skills. It feels like we are always in a rush, and, and that, because of that, we can't go deep into the contents. I feel that sometimes you give us too much homework. I believe that one thing that would really help us is if you would stop asking questions to prove we did homework such as, if you watch the video, paste your notes here. The research pointed out that 78.2% of the students approved of the flipped classroom format. One of the highlights of the first term seems to have been the production of your own videos for the Horror Writers Project. Doing videos and research is a great strategy for us to get to know well about an author. I really, really liked the Horror Pro Writers Project. I've been enjoying the Horror Writers Project a lot. It is my favorite topic so far. I just feel that it would be better if we could focus on only one writer or on only one literary movement being able to know a lot about it, instead of simply knowing many in a shallow way. In order to provide you with more speaking opportunities and the interaction you're willing to have within your groups, I have devised a strategy. To begin with, you will work in four groups, namely Charles Dickens, Jane Austen, Bram Stoker, Lewis Carroll. You will have only three homework assignments, which are individual and not marked throughout the whole third quarter. This time, I will be marking the process. Six out of ten points of your Notagy class will be made up of six assignments in which you will have to interact in groups. These assignments are always due on Saturdays at 11 a.m. These assignments will involve video lessons, quizzes, and eventually some readings, but you won't have to post anything. However, to be given your point in the assignment, you must record an audio comment to the question provided and interact with your peers in the discussion provided. It is high time we started writing longer essays. In the third quarter, you'll be required to write an essay in your quarterly test. Actually, this will be the most important element in your open-ended exam. In order to do so, you will be given a graded practice assignment on writing. This practice composition will also account for two points of your Nota de Classe. But attention! This practice task depends on one of your homework assignments, the one entitled Writing Essays. So, if I were in your shoes, I wouldn't miss out on this item. Keep an eye on your calendar so that you can organize yourself, okay?
How about the other two missing points in your nota de classe? Given the popularity of the videos on horror writers in the first term, your groups will produce another video on your group's Victorian writer. The difference now is that you will upload it to YouTube yourself. You will submit your link by clicking on the assignment Nota de Classe 1 Victorian Literature Videos in order to send me the group's link to your video. But there is more to the Literary Icons project than meets the eye. Together with these major Victorian writers, we will also study modernism. Keep an eye on your calendar again. In the third quarter, we are again going together in the Auditorio once more for another cinema session. Bas Lerman has also made his own version of one of the greatest modernist novels of all times, The Great Gatsby, a novel by Francis Scott Fitzgerald. Your presence in the event is actually quite important because we are going to have the chance to compare Gatsby and Daisy with Romeo and Juliet, as well as discuss about the American dream. Can you guess what the essay in your quarterly test will be about? Anyways, I do hope you have a fantastic second term. Thanks for watching. Bye.